Good morning, Berwick Scholars. This is Mr. Jorgensen. Uh, this is my lab assistant, Eli. All right, and we're going to be doing a demonstration on potential and kinetic energy today. See, I got my Berwick baseball hat on. Um, sad that we had baseball and softball canceled this year, so I'm wearing it in honor of them today because uh, it's always fun to get out in the field and see those team, team, teams go at it. And I know they had already started practicing when school was closed, so hate that they couldn't play this year. Um, but so hopefully you've already done a your intro to potential potential and kinetic energy uh, video questions. You've also watched my uh, presentation and running through the Google slides and going to a few sites and talking about potential kinetic energy. So now we're going to do a demonstration. Hey, okay, science! We do labs, we do demonstrations, and we just have to <clears throat> do them here. Now this is not a lab area. This is technically my backyard, but we'll do with what we got. All right. Of course, we're going to have our um, trusty eye protection. Don't have lab goggles, obviously, but I do have my sunglasses. Eli is going to have to suffice with uh, a snazzy pair of my wife's uh, sunglasses, who's are being our very generous videographer today. So, before we do our demonstration, let's talk a few things about um, how this demonstration is going to go. Obviously, there's something we're measuring. Okay, and what we're measuring, the dependent variable, is the amount of uh, length that these nails go down into this wood. So the first demonstration is going to be on potential energy. We're going to use this nice, trusty sledgehammer. Okay, this sledgehammer has a certain amount of mass. Uh, I do not know how much that happens to be, but I can tell you it's quite a bit. And we're going to use these two nails. Now I'm going to hold these up. Notice these nails are the same height. They have the same mass, they have the same head on the top. Okay, and I'm gonna put them in just until that spike disappears. So I'm gonna put them in the same um, amount. So that is all my control variables. My independent variable, what I'm going to be changing in this first demonstration is the height at which I hold this. Okay, potential energy is the energy of position. Okay? If you have something higher, it has a greater potential energy. For instance, you go on a roller coaster. Uh, for instance, at Kings Island, we went last summer. Eli's very first roller coaster I ever rode was the Racers. One goes front, one goes backwards. Nice hill, but not very big. Okay? By the end of the day, he had gone on the Diamondback. Now, the Diamondback hill is more than twice the hill of the Racers, maybe even three times. So it has a greater potential energy at that hill. That's why that's why it's longer. That's why it goes faster, okay? Because it builds up more potential energy. So, Eli, if we would, get our eyes, uh, <coughs> eye wear on and step back for me a little, Eli. Now, here we go. We've got, just come on out, close the door. Don't want Max to come out and get scared. So we have these nails in, and the first thing, how about you come down here, Eli? Stand off the side for me. There you go. Now, first thing we're going to do, I'm going to hold this sledgehammer up, not too far, but I'm going to let it slide down. We're right about there. Boom. Okay. That nail has gone in a little bit. All right. In fact, now, if I bring this up even more and drop it, okay, now I can see. I'm going to grab the camera real quick from my trusty, don't worry, you can see that the first one I did obviously came down, but not very much, especially compared to this one. I only hold it, held it about 8 inches higher, and this nail went in about, uh, looks like another half an inch, okay, and if I had done that even more, it would have done it even farther in. In fact, Eli and I did a previous demonstration of this to test it and the nail went about that far in and even bent sideways. So the idea that here, okay, obviously, there we go, let's get in the same color, boom. So the greater potential energy, more amount of energy it can have um, and sent that nail in farther. Now we're gonna do our kinetic energy. Okay, kinetic energy, we're gonna use this hammer, okay, has a certain amount of mass. We're going to use these two nails. These two nails are the same height, okay, same mass, and whatnot. I'll move this down a little bit so that I can get a fresh piece of wood. Now, kinetic energy has to do with energy of motion, okay. 
So <clears throat> the idea that you have its mass and you have a certain amount of speed, velocity that's going with it. Now if you have more speed, you're going to push something farther. Okay? Think about a car driving on the road and slams into a wall at 25 miles an hour. Okay, a car that then comes along and slams into it at 65 miles an hour is going to do a lot more damage to that car. Okay, but let's see this. So these nails are pushed in the same amount. I'm going to take this hammer and first of all, I'm going to hold it the same distance, but just let it fall. Okay, went in, not very far. This one, I'm going to hold the same amount, but I'm going to then put some force behind it. Okay, and as you can see, The one that I put more force behind, here we go, put it down into the blue so you can see the background. Boom. You see the one that I held and just pretty much let fall on its own, dropped a little bit, but then for perspective, this guy, I put some oomph behind it, some power, and it went about, actually just like the last one, about another half inch farther in. Okay, maybe quarter, three eighths we'll call it. Okay, but there we go. So we have the idea that so we have the idea that potential and kinetic energy, okay, potential energy depends on height. All right, the higher the height, the more potential energy it's going to have. Um, and then with kinetic energy, it depends on motion, depends on speed. The more speed something has, the greater kinetic energy it's going to have. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, please make sure that you go to the Google form. There are a few questions to answer. If you watch the demonstration, it should be nice and easy. Thanks for watching.